Hi there, this is Kirby Scopo of Scopo Realty and we have an update to our uh, loan limits for 2022. So this just came out, which is really cool. Um, we previously did a video on um, our market and now our market's gonna be affected in a good way for a short amount of time based off of inventory. But um, our clients and you as a client uh, now has more ability and purchasing power with a loan to have a little bit more inventory where you've been, if you've been kind of on the fence. So uh, things that happened was FHA and conventional loan limits uh, got increased uh, to start January 1st, 2022. And uh, the inventory, at, we have some numbers for that for you right now in December here. So the FHA loan limit got raised to, uh, basically you can get a house purchase price at uh, 435. The loan limit is $420,680, and your down payment would be $15,000 and change, $15,225. With that, you can get an FHA loan now up to $435, which is awesome because that's like right where in Las Vegas, our average list price of home is at right now. Our average sold price is $420. So our issue that we had for months uh, before this just got announced was that our limit you're up to like 378 but our we we're already over 400 so it's pricing out a lot of our uh, first time home buyers so now if you're a first time home buyer fifteen thousand dollars you can get a home up to 435. now the catch is you gotta make sure that when you're writing your contract if you're writing here in december that you're putting that the appraisal won't be ordered until january 1. they can't do an fha case number for the appraisal until January 1st when the loan limits actually go into effect. There's a lot of homes that were kind of in that pocket too. So there's like three, 400 homes under the 378 and under. Now with that little bit of pocket that we've increased, 999 homes as of today. Now it's a market that's gonna change as you watch this video, but hit up one of the members of our team, uh, figure out what's out there. But right around a thousand homes available under the FHA limit and the seller is taking FHA. Now, if you're looking for higher than the FHA, you can also do a uh, conventional. But wait, let me go back to FHA because there's something else here. So they also adjusted um, or, or helping out with the FICO score. So FICO, before you had to have a 580 or above to get the 3.5% down. Now, depending on the lender, uh, 500 to 510 and above up to the 580, uh, you can do 10% down and still get the FHA limit. So even if you're struggling on the credit or have something still to fix, you can get off the fence now, have our lender check it out and see if you can go ahead and qualify now. And um, because our inventory is so low. So those homes, we have 999 and with that new limit, people have been on the fence and there's a lot of them are going to be throwing contracts now and through January, February. That inventory is going to dwindle. Prices will probably go up just supply and demand, normal market. We don't know what's going to happen in the market, but supply and demand, um, that's what we can see effect just based off of that price point. Um, conventional loan limits. So with the conventional loans, they went up uh, a large amount, which is really good for us before it hits jumbo. So our conventional single family now loan limit, loan limit is 647,200. So you have 667,000 purchase uh, power. And with that, if you didn't have the full 20% down to avoid private mortgage insurance. So private mortgage insurance is required for anything that's a loan over uh, without 20% down. You could get this home if you had 3% down for $19,460. So basically 20,000 down, you can get a home in the 667 price range. Our current inventory right now is 2,624 homes that we have uh, under that price. So a ton of inventory right now uh, to help out. Uh, the clients have been sitting there on the fence or you're priced out from it. It will go though. So, so long as everything maintains the way it's been going, I would talk to your lender now uh, and figure out which option is best. Cause you may even be better at 3% down at the 435 mark. There's a lot of options. So what we're telling everybody, if you're sitting on the fence right now and thinking, I'm gonna buy in spring, start working with your lender now. Find out what you need to get done, what you could fix to possibly bring your score up. Because uh, you get a little bit higher score, you qualify for other loan types. You have a little bit more down payment, different loan types. And that way your lender 
can completely customize to the right budget for you and to have you the bright purchasing power so you can get the home that you want. Uh, with that, that is all led by our team. So if you need a lender, talk to someone from our team. You're getting this email because you're some one of our value clients that's in our database here and that one of my agents is working with currently. So please reach out to your agent. If you have any questions on lending, they'll connect you to our lender partner and then they can go over all this and the specifics and we can make sure that we get the best program for you, get you pre-approved and out uh, shopping. So everybody have a great holidays and uh, I look forward to uh, our agents giving you keys in 2022. Kirby Schofield with Schofield Realty.